Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this Friday afternoon from the broadcast booth overlooking the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And guess what? I'm in a great mood because, hey, it's Friday and the weekend's almost here. Let's get this started. It's almost 4 o'clock. The markets, they're about to close. We got ourselves a great two-day weekend coming up. At least I hope, right? You're going to be optimistic. You know what time it is. It's time for happy hour here in the Big Apple. Now stocks, they are mostly higher this Friday following a better than expected jobs report. Now the U.S. economy adding 209,000 jobs last month, well above the expected gain of 183,000. The closely watched wage number unchanged from previous months and the average hourly earnings up 2.5%. The average work week also unchanged 34 and a half hours. And providing the biggest boost for the month, get this, bars and restaurants with 53,000 more positives not bad, that means a lot of Americans are eating out and drinking out. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar edging off a 15-month low as it hit its lowest level against the euro earlier this week. And when you combine all of this, let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out. Not just the session, not just this week, but this historic milestone week in which we saw the Dow Jones hit 22,000 earlier. And with that stated kickback, relax. I'll see you guys all Monday morning. But before we get out of here, because it's a Friday, let's go over the sports weekend, right, guys? We have the Dodgers versus the Mets in Queens. The Dodgers are in it. The Mets are long gone. We have Chelsea versus Arsenal, the Community Cup, the Community Shield. That's on Sunday. While NASCAR is over in Watkins Glen, New York, and can't make it out for that one either. But either way, kick back, relax one more time. I'll see you guys on Monday and have yourselves a wonderful and great weekend. From Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.